currently at Starbucks right now, studying for my last two finals because oh, life just sucks. We are finally on winter break here at SMU, so I'm actually just like packing all my stuff back for California. I had my stats and my music therapy final today, which both went pretty well, but I thought I could have done better. <laughs> kind of like bull some of it, but I tried not to. So now I'm actually gonna go put on a mask for a bit and then I'm gonna like rearrange this room, take off any like things that I need to put on, that I put on like my lights and stuff. Um, hopefully that will be off soon and then I can just like put them back in, but put them back on when I come back in January. So see you guys at DFW. All right guys, I am at DFW. Um, I actually just took the train all the way here. Didn't stop for coffee or anything. I'm really tired, but like I'm really energetic at the same time. So I don't know, I'm just like, being myself, I guess. There's really good music in the back. I have my luggage with me and my backpack's pretty light because I don't have any books with me. I'm deciding not to bring any books back anyways because it's just, why would you bring books back and like stress yourself out over a, a six week break for yourself, you know? I'm gonna currently gonna go check in at Terminal A at DFW. It took me like an hour to get here, I think. The last time was because the train tracks were locked and so we had to take a bus here, which ended up becoming even more difficult than ever. So yeah but I will let you guys know um, once I check in and I'll see you guys at the terminal. What sucks the most about group nine? You only get to put one bag under the seat. <laughs> We're flying to San Francisco. Hey guys, so we're visiting Cupertino. It's lunch Just time. time. Pratik's with Ooh, me. Yes. <laughs> and we decided to visit Cupertino because I actually haven't been here in like two months. I need to get months. out of the house to tell. You so surprised me, man. You said like, Wednesday. You said it Wednesday. Is, it's Tuesday. Did I say Wednesday? No, yeah, it's Tuesday, you, my dude. That's so stupid. It's okay. Well, where are we going? Super cute? Super cute. Uh, Are we walking? I'm yeah. so proud of this girl. Okay. She got a job at Macy's, if you guys did not know that. Yay, don't visit me. If you're a crazy ass friend. <laughs> no, me, but she you know, they're not fired. crazy though. If I have crazy ass friends that visit me at work, I'm gonna get fired. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> it's funny because my parents But yeah, we're gonna head to Super like Cute and get like some. Past weeks. Yes! <laughs> I didn't say anything. Yo, visit, yo, visit me at the return center. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh, well, I'm actually going there life. more anyway, so. Yay. Oh, we yes. tried my life for a new remote. Try not to vlog me working or No, like no, what would I do that for? But I'll see you guys at Super Q. Currently back at home after coming back from Cupertino. I haven't really eaten a formal lunch yet. It's like basically soup from a Korean restaurant that I went to close to our house. And the soup smells so good. So, and my mom's eating lunch too. Say hi, mom. Hi. So I've been on this table working for about two and a half hours now. My mom just made some fish. This is some of, our, some of our home food that she usually cooks that I've probably missed in a long time because we've been eating out the past week due to holiday and traveling and whatnot. So yeah, about time I had some home food before I left. It is recording. Is it, recording? it is recording. Hello. 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 I got my phones. We are currently at Lush buying. I already have a face mask at home, but I decided what? to. Well, they ran out of the other ones, so I was like really sad. And Austin's like obsessed with Lush, so. I am. He's, he's gonna buy I want to. I want to work at Lush soon, though. I kind of like. I kind of like. If I'm so and passionate for Lush. And you can give me Lush. free discount. <laughs> oh yeah, I would totally. This is uh, just to clarify one of their jelly face masks. I heard it's pretty good because they just put it on me and it's like a surface of like, it's like, <laughs> like, 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 but then it helps exfoliate your face. And then we also have sex bomb. I think Austin's it's favorite. <laughs> Didn't they name it after a song or something? Yeah, yeah. Apparently yeah. it was named after a 11-year-old or something. <laughs> Which I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> we got more ones here. 
I was thinking like after this we could probably go get some boba because I really want boba. I mean I got boba yesterday with Jenny, but like yeah. that's a different story. So like I got tea pumps yesterday. <laughs> wait, this is your second one in a row then? Yeah. <laughs> oh wait, because tea pumps Tuesday was yesterday, right? Mm. Wait, what is this one? Oh, this smells really good. I legit thought it was an apple and I was like about to eat it like <laughs> You're like ah. <laughs> what if, <laughs> Then what I realized it wasn't, it was like I soap. Tell you it was soap. <laughs> Look at this. So we got rose jam, uh, carbon's cauldron, the bright side. You think I could actually spin this? Or you try spinning, I'll vlog you. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. We're good, we're good. Yeah. I was not expecting that to fall down though. Some Barney Illuminati looking thing. <laughs> we in here at Sephora, trying to look at our favorites. Kyle's trying to put on some mascara as we speak. It is exactly four o'clock, my dudes. I'm standing behind a white wall on the bottom floor of Macy's, and Jenny's here. She's working as a holiday. Right now, so I can't get in trouble. Yeah. Jenny, yes. <laughs> yes, Pyle. <Payal>. No. <laughs> Yep. All right, so now me and Pyle are going to go to the food court. Because we are hungry. We are well, hungry. Well, Austin's hungry. Well, I mean, both of us are hungry. She just had tea pumps, so like... So, you know... It, she's, it, just, she's quenched some thirst, but I haven't had something to drink in so long. It's so, so hard not to cuss. Yeah, I'm like... I don't want to cuss on your vlog. <laughs> Maybe cuss on my vlog. It's fine. I can just like edit sure? it. Yeah, yeah. I cuss like... Sorry. She cussed a bunch, uh, but like I cussed a bunch too. So. And then we got this model over here. Who's she? Oh, yeah. oh, oh, are you putting at me? Yeah. 50% off holiday deals. What the hell? What? 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 Let's go. Finally got myself some boba. And now we're waiting in line for some fries. Potato corn is taking such a long time today, which is like... Uh. I know, we've been, like, we've been in this line for like more than five minutes for sure, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, more like 10 hours. Yeah. <laughs> more like 10 hours. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Damn pile. That was heels though. Yes. Wow, wow. Slaying them. Yes. <laughs> you actually look higher with those on. What? You actually look higher with those on. Wait, really? Yeah. This is like remodeling a Valley Fair yeah. while like it's all open stores and stuff, but like like it's all like glass, but also at the same time there's like um there's like steel you can see in there. And Pyle's not impressed, I see. I'm not. It's time for some chat time. So if you guys have been reading um, news for the past few days, you might have noticed that there has been a lot of like Logan Paul, like name wise, Logan Paul on like every single like top of the news, like the top 10 news is like either Iran, um, the Iranian government being like super corrupt or North Korea and South Korea relieving tensions and they're trying to like talk with each other about how to perfect their tensions and relations between each other. There's one news that I thought that I should address because this one's actually pretty important. It relates to everybody, the human race, and everybody around us that have to go through and have to face. And it is definitely a personal experience and I thought like I myself have gone through this. If you didn't realize, Logan Paul actually posted a video. He's a YouTuber and he actually posts pretty good content. But after a video that he posted on New Year's Day that has blown up, he posted another YouTube video. They went on a special expedition trip to Japan and they went to a suicide forest. They didn't know that the forest was like where a bunch of people committed suicide. They didn't realize that there was someone committing suicide there and so they decided to just like leave the camera on. And Logan Paul basically laughed at the person um, who already committed suicide at that point. We weren't certain of whether he had depression or not, but I basically did a really, really long rant on Instagram, um, on my Finsta. If you guys haven't followed my Finsta yet, it's gonna be down in the down below. Um, anything that has to do with it whatsoever. So I was thinking um, of sharing my experiences as, my, as a thought that there are reasons why I don't support or forgive him in this way. Like I realize that he does have, that he did have the potential to delete the footage, but I don't know if he did, I don't know if he purposely put the footage on or not. But the way that he laughed about the person that committed suicide was something that I could not forgive. And what I basically said on Instagram was, I didn't want to leash out and say, hey, this is something that like he shouldn't do. Like A lot of people were saying that he should be forgiven in some way, but I was like, 
okay, please stop what you're doing and like realize that what you're saying is like, no, like just please stop. Because the one reason why I told people to stop was first off, you don't know what suicide is. Even though like outside we have like an outside definition of what suicide is. Personally, I have gone through effects of suicide. Like I didn't kill myself, but I've gone through effects of suicide where I felt really, really hopeless. I've had traumatic things happen to me. Um, and I've had like many different things happen to me at one point where I was just like, oh, okay, you need to control yourself. But I, d I didn't have the ability to control myself. And at that point, in July of 2017, I actually almost committed suicide over feeling really worthless and really hopeless inside my heart um, because that was like the transition between college and high school and I just didn't, and I was at a job and I didn't feel like I was being happy or, or whatsoever. And a bunch of people started streaming in with like different words and they were like, don't kill yourself, don't kill yourself. And I was like, I want to kill myself, I don't know what I can do. So through this experience, it's taught me a lot, you know, um, this past week, um, my parents actually sat down with me and, t and talked with me about how like grateful you should be about your life. Sharing what I had in past experiences actually encouraging and very useful in a way because for people who are going through this stage of depression or stage of social anxiety, um, which I still do have, um, it's just not apparent to most people. But when I do like hide myself or when I do get isolated, that's when I do have like, really bad social anxiety and like that's when I want to like curl myself into a ball. I got really offended by the way that Logan Paul actually like posted the video because that is not only disgraceful to Japanese culture because I'm part Japanese, but also it just gives a really bad reputation about him and it is very very offensive to most people who have had the experiences of having suicide effects. Maybe should have thought about it in the first place and should have thought, hey, if the person here already committed suicide and had depression, then we shouldn't be recording this kind of footage. Like, at least he should be aware of his audiences. So I hope um, that clears up the confusion and stuff. Hey guys, it's Friday. Um, it is January 5th, 27, 2018. I almost said 2017, and I am so sorry for saying that. On the agenda, I am actually gonna get my hair permed soon. So I'm, I'm actually gonna change into a like, ombre color, um, what's over other color type. I've also decided to um, try out these new presets that I bought from Pixel Film Studios. So I'm gonna actually start making videos soon again, once again. This is the brand new Final Cut Pro that I got online for free, so I decided to get it. So on the agenda, I'm actually gonna go run with my mom a few errands, and then I'm gonna go to Target and buy some stuff. And then afterwards, I'm gonna come back home um, hopefully get some workout done. At least if it's not raining, then I'm gonna go out. If not, then I'm gonna do yoga and do like some ab crunching exercises at home. And then we're gonna go out to dinner. Then afterwards, I'm gonna come back and do some more filming, some more editing. Um, and then tomorrow, we don't know yet, but um, I'm gonna go hang out with some of my friends tomorrow. Um, and yeah. Vlogging day, day six. Today is Sunday, just got back from church. Um, today we're gonna take you on an adventure. At the moment, I am currently eating lunch that I made myself. Um, last week I had very bad food poisoning, so I just decided to eat at home instead of going out or staying at church. Um, not to say my church is bad or anything, but I just had really bad food poisoning last week, and I'm kind of like scared and sick and tired of eating church food. Like, no offense, but things happen. It's another short series with driving with Austin because I haven't actually driven in a long time. Um, the last time I drove was in December. But he got taken away for some time, so I'm actually back to driving again. Um, main reason being was um, there was a lot of stuff that happened earlier in the year before 2017 ended that there was just like a lot of like discrepancy about like what happened with me driving my friends and stuff. And so, hello, I'll be on the other side. Whew. It's your boy, again. So the first thing I'm gonna buy is a gift card. Well, not a gift card, but the but a really special thank you card for one of my relatives. And then I'm gonna also search for some decor or food because I'm really hungry and there are some things that I'm gonna bring back with me to Texas. Pump some of my gas on the car so we're good with money 
um, in terms of what I'm gonna buy and stuff. Charge is really important once you have things and stuff to do. So important to charge your phone once you're on the road, because like, if you lose, um, if you lose power when you're on the road, how are you gonna drive and call people or play Spotify at the same time? Like, it's literally impossible to, um, it's literally impossible to do things when you don't have a phone with, when you don't have a phone, um, right next to you and stuff, and so, like, that's one of the hardest things, um, and some of my friends were right, it's, like, totally right. I barely drive with, ah! see, this is what happens. Guess where we at? Target! <laughs> okay, I swear, if they are not gonna let me record inside Target, they can go f themselves because most to all grocery stores allow people to record them. And I don't know why they won't allow them to record them, but um, they obviously have their copyrights and stuff. But um, I am going to go get a thank you card and then I'm gonna start shopping for decor because I actually got some money with me right now as we speak. Kind of want to like prioritize what I want to do um, for the next few weeks before I go back to school, and, um, yeah. I don't know why I'm doing in the decor aisle, but these are the things I got. Uh, a little bit for the YouTube video. Uh, I need to buy Sharpies for my new, um, board. Or actually, my board already has, like, a bunch of things, but I just wanted to add, like, creative things on there and stuff. Alright, got my things inside this Target bag here, so we're going to go back to my car, and then we're gonna go to Happy Lemon because I really, really want something to drink. I know y'all can't see Happy Lemon from the front because it's like entirely co covered. Um, but this is Mission Square and that's Ranch 99. I just got myself an Oreo milk tea from Happy Lemon. It is the best location by far because it's in the middle of like all Asian like places you've never seen before. Now I'm gonna head back home because I really have nothing else to do. And my parents might be already home by this time so I'm gonna meet them back at home. So this is the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I haven't vlogged in such a long time. Currently we have a meeting at our house, so it's like kind of like noisy at the same time. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. I promise to make videos every single week, if not every single day from now on. <laughs> There's a lot I need to do um, editing wise, but yeah, but other than that, I'm going to do whatever I can to edit these videos, put them on YouTube, um, and start making more videos for you guys and make this as part of my hobby and one of my resolutions to achieve for 2018. So thank you guys. Please subscribe if you guys and like this video if you guys really like this video. And um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.